Hmm. What's a guy like you doing on an island like Keda? Don't tell me. Your little boat sprung a leak, and now you're in a bit of a pickle. Close, but not quite. Oh, really? So what kind of business have you got here? I'm looking for something. I see. And what exactly are you looking for? Grog? Winches? A fight? It's none of your business. Then I'll get out of your hair. I'm sure you've got big plans. Collecting shells or something. <laughs> so, you're a pirate. What kind of stupid question is that? Of course I'm a pirate. Arr. Very convincing. And what does that mean? So you're saying you don't believe me? You better get the fuck out of my sight or I'll keel haul ya. Arr. What's the matter? Your feet nailed to the floor? Fuck off! Put that away! <laughs> You lot ain't got no balls. I found Douglas. And where is he? He's hanging about at the beach to the east. What? He should get his ass over here. You don't understand. He's dead. Bulgaration. Have you any evidence that it was one of Boozer's gang? On the contrary. It looks like some spiders had him for dinner. Shit. In which case, I've done the old drunk over there an injustice. Let Booze know if you haven't told him already. I have no desire to be on his hit list. I have three Firebird eggs here. You're really getting down to business, aren't you? Take them over to Booze, and we'll see what he intends to do with them. You... Hank. Who's Hank? We don't have a... You'll get your water. The natives won't attack you anymore. Unbelievable. No more spears pointed at us. We'll soon get the rum flowing again. Marvelous work. Marvelous. Here, this is for you. That's not much, considering nobody has to die of thirst now. Fine. Here, I'll throw in some extra. What? What do I think of the signs of the night? It's obvious. We're being watched. We cannot escape their eyes. And if sleep overcomes you, it's too late. I'm warning you. What do you want from me? You're one of them. The look in your eyes says it all. They sent you to silence me. Nobody sent me. Pull yourself together. You can't deceive me. You're possessed, I can tell. But I see through you. Your schemes to cause trouble will fail. Just like Douglas failed. Who fucking pissed in your rum? 
Get out of my sight. You're not welcome in this camp. Douglas was killed by spiders. Oh, really? And who says you didn't kill him? Because that would make no sense. Of course it makes sense. There are traitors everywhere. Is it possible that you are talking to yourself? Are you blind? You saw my comrade standing right in front of me. There was fuck all standing in front of you. <laughs> Listen, boy. Don't make fun of Hank. <laughs> he isn't always nice. What? Yes, I've seen them. The spirits on this island. Their peace has been disturbed. They're creeping into our dreams. I advise you not to attract their attention. Are you capable of just one normal fucking sentence? Normal? What's normal these days? Uncertainty is the only thing that's normal about this place. The great shadow is coming for us. I heard him whispering in the jungle. If you wish to follow the way of the voices, I will lead you. Oh, show me where you heard your voices. Ah, you want to be enlightened? Maybe you two will finally see what I see. Keep close behind me. Here. It was here I first heard the voice. It was a soft whisper, but you couldn't ignore it. Can't hear anything. You just don't want to hear it, that's the difference. Right. Then what can you hear right now? Well, if, if I listen more closely, well, well, don't disturb my concentration. Let's press on. Follow me. Here. It was here. What was here? A noise. A growling. A... I don't really remember exactly. That was your fucking stomach, nothing else. No, it was not. But, dumb. I really haven't eaten anything in a while. Eat something, then. You look like you could wolf down an entire boar. Oh, well, then I think I'll have a bite to eat. Come on, let's keep going. And this is where a ghostly being appeared to me. It looked terrible. I could hardly make it out. It had lots of legs and more than one pair of eyes. And it addressed me directly by name. What you saw was no spirit. So just fucking pull yourself together. But, 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 oh damn. My head really hurts. What's wrong with me? Have a swig of rum. It'll help. Ah, that raises the spirits. It's like a veil has been lifted. I get the feeling I should thank you for something. It's all right. Go. Return to the camp. Thank you. Now that you're back to normal, what do you remember? All I remember is spiders. I think I'll need a few shots of rum to jog me memory. I don't think it'll work. Of course it will. The past doesn't matter, and neither does the future. Live every day as if it were your last. 
A clear head has got to be worth something to you. Oh! Looks like old Hawkins totally forgot to give you a reward. Well spotted. Here, I don't need the gold. Quick, take it before I change my mind. I regret to inform you that... Uh... Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear anything else from you. Um, then maybe later. Tell me about the pirates. I. What do you know about Red? Him? Nothing really. Except that he's a piss-poor pirate. He also can't wangle anything out of his pocket either. He sets sail with us from Takarigua. I wouldn't pay him any notice. He's one rat among many. The natives will share their water with you. Them? Share? Never in a thousand years, lad. Every damn fish is sacred to them. Why would they share with us now, of all times? Because they said they would. No. We're gonna die here miserably, you'll see. I found Douglas's corpse. Ha! Huh, I knew it! Harry killed him, right? More like the spiders. Spiders? <laughs> sure. Next time you'll be telling me the Gyaga came for him. Look, if you're planning on teaming up with Harry, piss off! I won't be fooled. Here's the delivery you wanted. Oh, wonderful. Give it to me. I'll be getting to work making some tasty rum for us all then. When I'm done, you can take it to the people in the warehouse. I'll need some time. Come back later. Here. Is this the plant you wanted? You found it. Excellent. This utterly inspires my senses. Now I can finally extract the elixir from it. Fine. I'll leave you to it. Wait. Not so fast. Surely you'd like an adequate reward. Take this as a token of my appreciation. He doesn't mince his words, does he? Is the rum ready? I told you it'll take some time. Come back later. And what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Go hunting, pick mushrooms, or go to sleep. Do what you want, but let me work. Ready to throw knives? Sure, but you can't beat my throwing on. Let's go. That was bad. I 
I'm going to lose it any minute now. That was bad. You need eyeglasses? I've already pocketed your stake. If you're that nervous when throwing, you shouldn't be surprised. Ready to throw knives? Let's go. Oh! I'm going to lose it any minute now. I'm really angry. Ha! Blind as a bat. Shit, you won. Here is your prize. And just because you've beaten me for the first time, we'll have a drink. Then you can really savour your victory. Is the rum ready? I told you it'll take some time. I'll drink to you. I've got my wits back. I know nothing about crystal magic. Is the rum ready? I told you it'll... Right. But unfortunately, I need to get rid of it right now. What? I've been observing your way of taking care of things for quite a while now. I have to say, I'm glad that you decided to join me. Is that so? I joined you, you say? Yes. You're a great lad. Carry on doing things the way you do, and you'll go far. I just had to say that.
I must get closer. I must get closer. Big voodoo, Gucho. You did it. Not bad, eh? Chi, but remember, he who controls the meat bears the responsibility. The shell of life is very fragile. Now what do we do? Talk to Chakahirutu. Convince him that not all Guchos are a threat. He will listen to you, as you now control the body of a Tonka. Chakahirutu, Makoto want to talk to you about Guchos. She, the time for Karaka has come. Soon the Guchos will be sacrificed. No! Makoto suggests we trust Guchos and seek peace. Peace? With Guchos? Hirutu doubts these words. Was it not Makoto who suggested we fight the Guchos? The Tonka of the Kila will not fight. Makoto may be a Tonka, but he is young and inexperienced. Hirutu's word is the will of the Hike. The Tonka will bow to him. But tradition demands that Hirutu must first heed the words of the Kila. I am not satisfied with your voice alone. Bring to Hirutu arguments from three other Kila explaining why we should not war with the Guchos. When this is done, Hirutu will then respect Makoto's wish, not before. So opinions of the Kila are important to Hirutu? She, if they give you three reasons for peace, I will respect their wishes. But until then, the war against the pirates is decided. They will all be sacrificed to the Hike. Hirutu will not change his mind about Guchos without reason. Uamba, Chaka Hirutu is full of anger. Not even the words of a Tonka will appease him. Then hear my advice. Our tribe will lose many men if we Kila seek war with the Guchos. Without our men, our village will be defenseless. I've still got something to take care of here. Makoto, some taka bahati? Makoto chakeke. Makoto chakeke, taka maloke? I could not agree more. Can you tell me something good about the Guchos? Why palaver in language of Guchos? I want to help the Guchos learn the palava. Wamba mi tusheka, hike sum kapo. Um... You want to know what I think about Guchos? Yes. Bahati think we have enough problem. Motau and spiders everywhere. It would be better if we friend with Guchos.
Hola, Makoto. Leave Bobo alone. Whatever you want from Bobo, Bobo not interested. Makoto, this Tonka has things to do. Camille, no time for a little Tufa. Tufa? Gee, you are nothing more than a little hunter. You will have to work hard if you want the Hike on your side. What do you think about sacrificing Guchos? Fight with Guchos? No. Bad idea, Makoto. Maybe you are right. Chi, of course I am right. You will learn much from me. The Hike help only those who help themselves. They will not bring peace unless we take first step. Just like happiness only come through work. This could be helpful. Ixil greets Makoto. What do you think about the Guchos? Why does Makoto want to know this? Want to know what you think of them? Guchos are good for trade. Otherwise, Ixil has no feelings about the Guchos. Hirutu's feelings are also Ixil's feelings. I cannot do much with that. Taka? I... Uh, Makoto just thinking aloud. Onopalava, you know what needs to be done. Dala! Makoto! What do you think of Guchos? Taka? I try to convince Hirutu that Gucho is not evil. Taka? Damn. Ta Taka? Um, Hirutu som chi. Um, Gucho hoshi. Chi, Gucho hoshi miemiti. Gucho samo, Gucho pretty. Shit, I do not understand. Taka? Forget this. Onopalava. So
So opinions of the Kila are important to Herutu? She, if they give you three reasons for peace, I will respect their wishes. Bahati says spiders pose much bigger threat. The Kila will die if we do not keep eye on them. Tawonga, Hirutu had not considered that. But this is not enough. You must bring more. Tenya says we Kila lose many men in battle against the Guchos. Muleke will be defenseless if they go away. She. The protection of our people is important. I must consider this. I hope you have more. Otherwise, that will not be enough. Opinion of Camille is that the ancestors will only help those who help themselves. Begging for aid does not mean they will help us. Hmm. That is true. But it still is not enough. No. No fighting. Hmm. Chi. You have convinced Hirutu. Under these circumstances, a battle against the Guchos is a bad choice. Thank you, Makoto. Now return to your post. You are dismissed. Onopelava, you know what needs to be done. Um... What? Oh, nothing. It's fine. It can wait. Jala! Jala! Or Makoto get angry! About the ingredients for your scepter again. Chi, bring them to me once you have found them. A stone tablet says something about clams and a shimmering pearl. Ah yes, Kila has many beautiful beaches. You can find many shells there. Can you be more specific? Hmm. If you are near the pirate camp and head to the northwest, you will find a small lagoon. I have always found the loveliest horn shells there. All right, I'll give it a try. I took the heart from a strong panther. Then I will take good care of it. It will be the core of the scepter. I found a sturdy spider leg. Chi, that is excellent. That will be the handle of our scepter. We need a huge chunk of jade. Far in the northeast of Kila, there's an offshore island. There, you will find many tunnels and caves full of jade and other stones. But be careful. It is also said that these areas are home to particularly dangerous beasts. Gucho, I've made a decision. Oh, yeah? Chi, I will not sacrifice the pirates. So, what made you change your mind? My people spoke wisdom to me. Well, then, thanks be to the ancestors. Thank you for your advice. Here, take this, peacemaker. I'd like to talk to you about Slim. Your pirate captive. All right, Hoshi of the Kila. Hirutu will listen to you. But know that the pirate Slim has defiled our soil. He is Kabuki to us Kila. So, in a nutshell, he fucked up. She, his presence has angered Gaia. Evil aura. Tao, the death already awaits him. Tell me. What would you do in Hurutu's place? Spare his life. Why does his life matter to you? He was misled. He deserves a second chance. You are merciful. I will heed the advice of Ogucho. Now go and tell him my judgment.
Um... What? Oh, nothing. It's fine. It can wait. I managed to convince the chieftain to let you go. Thank you so much. I promise that I'll be an honest soul from now on. From now on, I'll do one good deed every day. I promise. Shut up. Just get the hell out of here. Thank you again. I'm setting off towards the pirate camp. See ya. Give me the rum for the pirates. Here it is. Tell the boys we'll meet them at the fire, and then come back and help me carry the rest over. Who wants rum? Everyone at the camp. The main thing is that you offer one to Harry, Quinn, Colby, Buddy, and this Cunningham. Got it. Here, some rum. That is a good use of water. Thanks. Come to the campfire. We've got something to celebrate. Count me in. Here, want a drink? So? Is there any more? Come to the campfire. Of course I will. Here, this is from Booze. Is it over? Not really. Come to the fire and we'll explain everything. All right. Meet me at the campfire. Will there be drinks as well? Here's a little taste of what's to come. Very nice. Don't even think about it. I'll see if you take yeah. anything. This rum's from booze. Thanks, but I don't drink. Alcohol and my studies don't mix. All the more for us, then. Let's drink to booze. Exactly. Cheers. Get the man who distills our rum. 
Get it down your neck. Good. The man are gathering by the fire. Right. Let's celebrate with them. One last time. Does the rum taste good? What is the meaning of this? Why is nothing happening? Look around you. These are your comrades. They want to drink with you. No! You tricked me! That was no poison! Poison? What poison? He wanted to give us poison. You! All of you should be dead! Can you hear yourself? Nobody's your enemy. Wake up! No! That's not true! He knows! She told me! She? You must be out of your mind. Who is she? You don't understand! No! Betrayal! Everywhere! You're, you're to blame for everything! I'm gonna kill all of you! Shut up! I'm gonna beat that spell out of you. Come here then! You're not gonna stand! What are you waiting for? Come on, what are you waiting for? Get a move on! You showed up bad I couldn't have done it better myself. Um... What? Oh. Oh, my poor head. What? What was that? So, how are you? Who? Wh where am I? How much do you remember? I... We traveled to Kilo with Patty, and then... Darkness. What, what happened? You were in a bad way. Looks like the rum, followed by a good thrashing, helped. Oh, my head. You should sleep. It's probably the best option. I'll think about it. You handled the thing with booze like a real expert. It was easy. Precisely. That's why you're just the right person for another favor. Ever since we anchored here, I can't stop thinking about the native women. And I said to myself, Harry, I said, this new recruit, he'll sure be able to give you a helping hand. If it's that important to you, I could look around for a wife for you. Really? Great. But she must be young and pretty. Yeah, I wouldn't be too choosy if I were you. Well, I'm just saying, because... because... Yeah, you must know what you're doing. What are you gonna do with your new life? Well, first, I'm gonna have a drink at Booze's. And then? Have another drink. Right. In other words, you haven't got a fucking clue. Sure I do. I'm gonna be grateful for every day I live. And... Have another drink. Yeah, I know. I got it. You just can't leave it be, can you? What is it now? You ingratiating morons are simply unbearable. I tell you one thing. I will go insane if you keep trying to play the nice guy. <laughs> 